I'm here with Steve, the owner of Sprinkler Warehouse. He's about to tell us how we run wire to our sprinkler system. What kind of wire are we running today, Steve? We're, uh, we're going to be running direct burial irrigation wire today. It's 16 gauge wire and uh, it's made for direct burial so we do not have to worry about running conduit all the way back to the controller. We can just run the, the wire uh, in the ground in the same trenches as the pipe and we'll just tuck the wire up underneath the pipe just to protect it uh, from any shovels in the future or anything like that. The best we can we'll tuck it up underneath. Uh, but again, we don't have to worry about running conduit because we are using wire that's, that's designed for direct burial out here in the yard. We're going to be running our wire from the controller. In this situation, it's in the backyard, in the garage. We're going to be coming from that controller around the back of the property, down the side of the house, and then across the front over here to our furthest valves away from the controller. So starting here, we need to make sure that we've got a red wire or a hot wire for each valve. In this case, we've got three valves, so we're going to have three red wires. But you only need one common. That's it, not ten. Okay. Yeah, it's daisy chain. Yeah, daisy chain. We would normally run the wire straight from these valves all the way back to the controller and tucking the wire underneath the pipe to protect it. But we got to be careful. I always advise people walk the property back to the controller and make sure you're not going to cross any obstacles that would prevent you from running the wire. In this case, as, as we've been discussing here and you can see, we've got a sidewalk to deal with. We've gone under it uh, earlier with a, a piece of conduit so that we prepared ourselves to go under this with wire. So instead of starting here and rolling our rolls back, we're going to start here, bring the wire underneath in the conduit, over to the valves, hook up the valves, and finish running the wire around the side of the house to the backyard. After we've done these, we'll start over here on these valves. We'll run our two red wires all the way back to the controller again. And then we'll finish up with our valves that are in the backyard and do the same thing. All right, now I've pulled the wire down to the valve. I'm gonna tuck it in underneath the pipe and I'm gonna leave about two and a half feet of coil because you wanna have about two and a half extra feet to coil up for, for, to protect for surges. All right, so this right here is a little coil and we're gonna make one right on, the on the rest of these wires. Now what this does is it adds a little bit of a extra protection against power surges. So we're just gonna take a little pipe like this. We're gonna unwrap our cable. We're gonna go ahead and leave some slack right there. And we're gonna wrap it around right down here like this. Boom, coil. And you're gonna do that to all of them. Perfect. Just kind of tug a little extra down there. That's good. You know, tuck that under and you can start your coil. How many did you do last time? Uh, how many? Yeah, that's good. You see how we're just jumping from one to the next to the next? Yes. That's all we're doing, yeah. So it goes from this one to that one cool. to that one to the control. Don't forget your waterproof wire nuts.
time. I'm going to take the white wire only, and I'm going to pull the white wire. I need you to let the roll roll with more white wire too. Now, in order to protect your wires from damage, you're gonna to wanna to run it through some PVC conduit from where it comes out of the ground all the way to your smart control. Yeah, you don't glue it, there's no water in it. All right, now we got all the wires running to our controller. We have our rain sensor wire right here. We're gonna hook that up. We got our common wire. We're gonna hook that up as well. We're gonna turn the power onto this thing. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna strip the red wires one by one, and we're gonna to touch them to a powered terminal. What that's gonna do is gonna to start to isolate which wire goes to which zone, because we don't know which wire goes to which zone at this point. So if we turn on terminal number one and start touching a wire to it, what's gonna happen is it's gonna turn on one of the zones in our yard. Let's just say that turns on number seven. We count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, connect it to number seven over here, and go on down the line until we know which wire goes to which zone, and then we connect it to that corresponding zone. Let's get started. Okay, that's number, on, that's the flower bed, so that's gonna be number Number six. Remember, Sprinkler Warehouse has everything for your irrigation needs. So your trees, lawn, gardens, and flower beds are lush and beautiful. And if you have any questions about irrigation, chat with one of our superb customer service agents on sprinklerwarehouse.com. They really know their stuff and they will get you squared away. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for helpful tips, tutorials, and general sprinkler instruction. I'm Adrian Sanchez, your Sprinkler Warehouse Pro. I'll see you later, Irrigator.